We've got the Mets and Guardians opening up an interleague series earlier today, and this one did not disappoint. This one was a wild one. In the top of the first, Josh Naylor is getting the best of Carlos Carrasco. It's definitely a tough start for the Mets. They just came off a great series, probably their best series of the year, as they defeated the Tampa Bay Rays, winning two straight games. And then Josh Naylor going to get to Carrasco early. And then who but Josh Naylor again in the top of the seventh. He's been one of the more clutch players in the last couple weeks or so, as there was that series against the Angels where he hit the three clutch homers in the eighth inning and now it's the seventh inning and he's extending the lead to four but with James Karinczak on the mound and a tie game after Pete Alonzo hits a grand slam to tie the game look at that he is so pumped you can tell that the Mets are trying to get some energy back this is home run number 17 for Pete Alonzo it is just absurd the numbers that he's been putting up and recently he has been red red hot but now we're headed to extra innings Mets this would be a huge win if they could pull it off they won one, two straight against the Rays. They were down 7-3. Pete tied the game up, but then Gabriel Arias gave the Guardians a two-run lead, but then Francisco Alvarez, the rookie, maybe he can start and snap it out of some early season struggles and come around because he's going to be tying the game up against Emmanuel Classe down to the final strike, and then Francisco Lindor, a storybook ending against his former Guardians team. He was traded for Andres Jimenez and Ahmed Rosario, and he's going to get it past the diving Andres Jimenez. It's just crazy. This isn't the celebration of just a normal regular season walk-off as it looks like the Mets want it bad. It's an 162 game season. They're back to 500. Maybe this could be the spark that gets the Mets going to how we thought they were at the start of the season.